Good afternoon to you. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me take a picture. I want to take a selfie of everyone that's going to be in my audience today. So just smile if you can. Smile. <laughs> there you go. Right, as the uh, topic suggests, guys, today we're talking about the next big thing in digital marketing. All right, and I want you to hold on. And um, yeah, watch it maybe till the end so that you get to be the first person to actually know what's trending and what's actually going to be happening in digital marketing, the next big thing. Right. So my name is Prosper Tarowinga. As some of you guys already know, if this is your first lunch and learn, guys, welcome. All right. This is a channel where we help um, coaches, consultants and digital entrepreneurs like yourself to actually package brand and market your services so that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> so if you're watching this live, congratulations. You're one of a few that actually do um, get value firsthand. But if you're going to be watching a pre-record of this, just make sure... You know, you watch it all the way through to the end because I'm going to be throwing in a lot of nuggets, etc., etc. And if you're on YouTube right now, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to our channel so that you get um, these daily videos that are coming in every single day so that you get to learn how to market, scale, and grow your business. Guys, like I told you, I'm so excited about the next big thing in marketing and y'all not even going to realize what it is. So... Sit back and uh, don't even go anywhere. Watch this till the end. It's going to be an explosive 30 minutes of what's new, what's trending, etc., etc. in the whole digital marketing space. All right. So um, I go by the name Prosper Tarovinga, by the way. And I hope I spelled that right or I pronounced that right. I don't know these things. Right. So I've got the next big thing to share with you guys. And it's going to be the biggest game changer this day decade has ever seen and it's likely to give you you know the edge that you've been looking for maybe you've been trying to get a new clients maybe you've been trying to get um you know um people to convert on your website whatever it is that you've been trying to do um you know using online marketing to grow scale and you know your business but what is it what what is this big thing that i'm talking about i want to tell you something I want to tell you, and I want you to listen right now. The next big thing does not exist. There is nothing that is going to be new. There's nothing that's going to be changed or new and improved or whatever it is. And it actually doesn't really matter. All right. So I know a lot of people would have come in saying they want to hear what the next big thing is. And I want to tell you right here, right now, it doesn't matter. And there's never going to be the next biggest thing. All right. I'll tell you something. Today I received a letter from, um, hopefully we don't get to see their name there. Otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. All right. And then they came up with something called the must master the art of selling. All right. So there I was, I'm thinking, oh my God, oh my God, I am so going to know how to sell after I go to this event. And they sent me their ticket. Sorry, I'm not going to tell, I'm not going to put up a lot of stuff just because of privacy reasons. But they gave me a ticket worth $97. And I'm thinking to myself, this is going to be the next big thing. Master the art of selling. All right. And then I came back to my office and watch this, watch this. I came in and then I saw a book in my shelf. I don't know if you can see it. It says, How to Master the Art of Selling. And guess when this book was written? This book was written in 1982. All right? How to Master the Art of Selling. Sorry you can't see um, the, the things right there. All right? How to Master the Art of Selling. All right? And I'm being invited to this new... An exciting project in town. Sorry, I can't put it. Saying master the art of selling. All right. Now tell me what is different and what is new that these guys are coming up with today that I have to leave my office and actually run and, and, and go and sit at whatever breakfast they're inviting me to. Do you actually notice that there's nothing new and there's nothing that's going to be the next big thing? And that's 
the fact that a lot of people are focusing on what's going to be the next biggest thing is probably the reason why you're not getting clients is probably the reason why your shit ain't working right now. Okay, so I don't know how many times over the years I've seen companies, you know, that those that I'm working with and, you know, their stuff is not working because they are focusing on the next shiny object just to see their results plummeting. All right. Nothing is going to be new. The one thing that you got to know about your business is you got to have a message that goes to a market using whatever channel or media that you're going to use that is particular or where your, 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 your market actually uh, is. All right. So there's nothing that is going to be new and improved or if anything is actually said or is sold to you and they say limited time only, that's as long as it works only for a limited time. All right. So what does this actually mean? Like I was saying, guys, there's not going to be anything new, all right? And I think it comes down to a lot of people just looking for shortcuts to, to success and a shortcut to really getting their leads and shortcuts without putting in the hard work. If you watched the video that I put out yesterday, I was talking about the kind of people that I really want to work with and people that really want to put in the work. I've just proven to you right now that everything that you're going to see either in a Facebook ad or either in some sort of you know, the form of, you know, you know, Facebook or whatever, um, you know, um, ad that comes your way. It's usually watered down stuff that has in that has been existing for quite a long time. There are just a few core channels that have been proven to work uh, from time and time again. And these are across all the industries. All right. This is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, you know, your Facebook ads. I'm talking about content marketing. I'm talking about email marketing and, you know, having a high performing website. Some of you guys are just rushing to pick up one of those and think that is going to be the be it and end all. And it's not going to work like that. All right. So if you put all these channels, um, you know, if you put all these channels to work for you, all right, they will work for pretty much anyone. And I think a lot of people are just searching for that easiest hack, that shortcut, you know, that's just going to, um, you know, give them or fix their small pain right then. And they're not going to put in the work. Whereas if you just focus on the core channels of exactly what your message is, where, which market it's going to and what media you're going to be using, you will actually have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. You know, and you actually get more results than your competitors. You know why? Because your competitors are out there sh chasing the shiny objects. All right. So this is pretty much what I call the foundation. All right. Once you get your three M's, your message, your market, your media, anyone can come around and tell you, oh, this is going to be the next, you, you know, new and shiny and, and, and you know, nothing will, will phase you. All right, I just showed you a clear example that's happening right now, you know, being invited to an event that is called uh, Master the Art of Selling, only to find out in my bookshelf, I already have a book that's called, um, you know, How to Master the Art of Selling that was written in 1982. So what is going to be different now between these two things? All right, so it's just one of those things. From, from here onwards, I really want you to start considering what do you actually know right now that you haven't implemented you see it goes down to you already have all this information that's why it resonates when somebody talks to you you know why because the whole period that we just came in from which was the content period where people knew that content was king all they did was you know you know fill up the whole market with content 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 now we're all saturated with content all right. It is now a time to actually decipher all that data that we have decoded and actually put it into practical and actionable tricks and tips so that our businesses can actually function. All right. So from then on, you, you know, a lot of people are just experimenting with new channels, but, you know, you then get distracted because the whole shiny object syndrome is, is designed to make you get distracted and you continuously chase your tail. 
all right so all those things that are new channels they've not been proved they've only worked for that person or maybe a couple of people what makes you think they're going to be sustainable a whole lot of people in the last year went on to snapchat all right i'm going to give you an example of what shiny object syndrome is like everybody jumped on onto snapchat it worked for some but look at how they've been ripped apart by, um, you know, by, by Facebook stories and Instagram stories in broad daylight. So if you had put all your, you know, invested energy on that channel on its own, right? Where would you be today? Where are you now? All right. So it's you got to really focus on what your message is, who you are telling that message and how you're going to deliver that message to those people. Those are the most critical M's you really got to, um, you know, remember every single time. All right. So one of the biggest arguments that you might come up with is um, with, with, with what I'm saying is, you know, um, some of these core channels are expensive and, you know, you, you might be right. You see, they're expensive for a reason because they work and they've been there f since time immemorial. Some of you guys are avoiding selling directly to people. Some of you guys are avoiding actually being in touch with the clients that you want to serve and you just want to automate everything. It doesn't work like that. You know why? Because there's going to be guys like me that are out there and grabbing your clients by the... You know why? Because we are there. And now can you imagine if your, um, you know, your uh, competition is not doing the same as well? You know, so all the new channels, you know, they might cost less, but they are not tested and they are not yet proven to, 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 to generate a, a, a good return. So what will be next? All right. So if you're a company that's really, you know, or a small business that's really focused or that's really, really serious about growing up and setting up a foundation for your business, stop chasing the next big thing. Do you know what I mean? It's, it is okay to experiment, you know, with new channels, but it shouldn't come at the expense of what already works. All right? You know, you get a call every single day. Uh, uh, yes, hello, there's going to be new and shiny objects on Friday. Everybody, put your email address and uh, come and get the new shiny. Every single Friday, something new comes on the market. All right. Yeah, that's that's my little girl's microphone, by the way, because she sees mine and she wants to copy me. <laughs> but you, you get what I mean, though. So wh wh what am I trying to say here? Uh, Tyre says it is the tricks and tips that are easy to recall as easy to implement. All right. So the easiest thing, really, guys, to actually win at this marketing game is to make marketing a habit. All right, so that you do not continuously have to chase your tail, you got to make marketing your habit. All right, I've seen a few other people that I'm working with. Uh, I can give you an example of Ray Rink. Ray Rink is supposed to be on holiday, but he's out there meeting a lot of other entrepreneurs. You know what? Because he's making marketing a habit. He is an example of an entrepreneur who just didn't hook up with his job, with his um, business, but he actually got married to his business. Some of us are just, you know, like on Tinder, hooking up and not really immersing ourselves with the work that we want to do. Because at the end of the day, what sold you into entrepreneurship was probably freedom. But freedom comes at a cost. You got to be serving clients. You got to be there for them, providing, creating and relating to them all the time. So if you're going to be going in for some sort of new and shiny object and not making marketing a habit, it will be difficult for you to actually relate to the people that are working with you. I don't know if you've noticed every single thing that I do. Maybe it's now in my blood, but everything that I do has a return of investment. Even if it's just hanging out with my daughter, even if it's just talking to people, you know what I mean? Return of investment, return of energy. So that whenever it has to work or whenever it has to, to, to be used, look at this. It, it doesn't feel like work anymore. So when marketing becomes a routine and a part of your everyday life, you are able to boost profits and bring in a lot more customers without even trying. 
And that's the reason why people now then jump onto, you know, shiny objects, yada, yada, yada. You know why? Because they haven't been doing anything. And then when something new comes up, then they start thinking, oh, snap, I got to get clients on Friday. You know why? Because bills are coming in on Monday. It don't work like that. Do you know what I mean? It, 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 you got to continuously put something of value into the market and then you start getting dividends. So like I said, this is the next big thing in digital marketing. You know why everybody else is out there trying to get the next shiny object. And Peter, thank you so much for the love, brother. I'm feeling it. Everybody's out there trying to get the next shiny, getting whatever book, people getting paid to get books these days. So much content overload. Sit down, mate. Look at your library. You've got everything that everybody's trying to put out there. Really sit down and look at your library if you've got one. And if, you've, if you haven't got one, start working on that. Because everything that has ever been put out in the world right now is now hidden in a text. It's now hidden in a book. You know? This is where all the coaching is. This is where all the fundamentals are hiding. And some of us are just waiting for the next ad to come in so they hit us in the face and, you know, grab our money or grab us by the... You know, those were the words of some other people that are really important. So I'm, you know, kind of using them to break the pattern. I'm not here sitting here. You know, yesterday when I was talking, I was talking about how, um, you know, some people will find some of my stuff not worth following or whatever it's cool you know why there's seven billion of you out there that i can tap into and grab by the so if you're not going to want to work and if you're not going to want to put the right kind of energy into your work i'm not going to want to work with you like i said in the video yesterday you know some business owners they just don't get it you know they, they they're thinking before build it and and and, and then they will come that used to work at your granddad's or your grandfather's shop just down the road. These days, you got to earn anyone's attention and you got to listen. Listen. Yeah. If you're not listen, listening, you're not anywhere close to knowing what your clients want. You're not anywhere close to knowing what they need and how you can serve them. Gone are the days where you just build up a website and prrr, everybody's on there. No, it don't work like that anymore. You know? So, you know, you built it and they'll come. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Your granddad, your mother, your father are the only people that are going to be checking up on the website, you know, just to see if you're not dead yet. You know? So that's not... Sometimes... Some people are out there really working, networking, and, and putting in the work, you know what I mean? But that's not the case with most businesses. You know, we have been sold onto the whole fact that business happens online, but a lot of the business happens offline. You know, want to know the solution? Market and they will come. All right? So when businesses, you know, when, when you start having this mindset of, you know, really, really marrying your business, you will start seeing the benefits. Cheers, Darren. He says good stuff. You know, you can call it an attitude. You can call it a way of life. But I like to think that it's a habit. You develop what is called a marketing habit. And, you know, that's what will make you successful in your business. Just like any other habits, with practice, you become better and better at it. And when somebody comes up with their, you know, shiny Facebook ad, you just look at it and be like, yeah, okay, good for you. Go and, you know, try somebody else who's not, who doesn't have a message, who doesn't have a market, because they're just rushing in for whatever is next. And, you know, we are always sold on the laptop lifestyle. Have you ever been to the beach with your laptop? You know how annoying it is when sand gets into the moving parts of a laptop and then you're trying to take it out or whatever it is. It's, it's annoying. You know, the laptop lifestyle only exists in decepting Facebook ads. You got to put in the work. You know, so you got to make it a habit to actually start marketing your business. And that's how you're going to be successful. Don't wait for the next shiny object. 
anything else that's shiny or anything else that's got a limited time only or a limited time off. And that's as long as it works for a limited time. And with practice, you get better and better. So, you know, I've, I've recommended to many of my marketing clients that even if I'm going to do in the work, guys, but they have to do at least three to five marketing things every single day. You know, take a selfie or something like that, you know, go out with your camera um, around your office. Oh, by the way, everybody move in, move in. I'm going to just take a picture of the audience. Just move in. Uh, there you go. Uh, come on, guys. Are you smiling or what's happening? Move in, move in. I want to take a picture of the audience. There you go. You just got to you just got to keep doing stuff that you know you 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 know that helps your business. All right? So this is what I recommend my guys, even NG. <laughs> How's it going? Thanks for tuning in today. You know, I recommend my marketing clients that even if you're putting in money in your Facebook ads or whatever, but when people come then to your website or when people come to your Facebook or something like that, they are going to need to see a bit of your action. They are going to need to see a bit of you, you know, working and that's the, where their money actually goes. These days, guys, we're hearing about people bombing their, you know, bridges being bombed. You never know where they're getting that money from. All right, so I wouldn't want to be paying somebody that I cannot see normally every single day because maybe they're using that money to sponsor, um, you know, terrorists. Maybe that's what I think and maybe that's what everybody else is thinking. So the more you're not being seen, the more you're not making it a habit, the more you're actually tripling, I mean, you're, you're actually crippling your, your, your profits. I definitely want to see where my money is going. You know, I don't mind uh, Ty Lopez showing off his Ferraris. You know why? Then at least I know he's putting that money in, the, in, 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 in those cars. You know? All right. So, you know, after about two or three weeks when you do a marketing habit each day, you start developing that marketing bone and, you know, you start noticing things around you, you know, and photos that you can actually use within your marketing. You know, and, and you know, you become conditioned and it becomes a part of you and it becomes much more interesting because every single thing that you do is 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 definitely going to maybe be a social media post or something like that you know it's sort of like you know going to the gym or taking a nap on the weekends after doing it for a while it becomes routine and it becomes a really really good habit and you want your marketing to be the same you want marketing to be a habit so that you're not going out there just chasing all the um, waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls or whatever shiny objects that are available. Please stick to the, you know, uh, Facebook ads or the, you know, stuff that already works. I don't know where, you know, stuff like that. There's usually four things that, you know, I, I can, you know, just impart on you so that you get to quickly see what I mean that you have to actually wear your marketing coach every single day. You know, sometimes it's just a poor marketing mindset and every single business owner that I usually work with, they overcome this. And once they do, they become unstoppable. You know, in Australia, they have what they call uh, tall poppy syndrome. You know why? Because at the end of the day, um, People, you know, are shy that, you know, if they stick out too much, uh, they the people around them are going to, um, you know, chastise them, etc., etc. Nicole says, I've I done myself yet again. Thank you so much. All right. So, guys, you know what? Think of it in terms of um, what is it that you actually want the whole bigger picture? Because once you start making a bit of money on, on the line, and then you start thinking to yourself, oh, yeah, I'm making a good living. Oh, I'm comfortable. Oh, my numbers are fine. Complacency can actually be a killer. And once the competition steps into the market, and the market turns, these days, success is judged upon the attention you can garner into the market, and then that attention being turned into conversions, and conversions being turned into currency. So, in other words, attention is currency, guys. 
It might not happen today, but the more you continuously just make marketing a habit, that's the next big thing. You know, not having the right marketing mindset will leave your company in a vulnerable state. And many times, this can be too late to recover from. You could have been the ne the biggest thing yesterday, but if somebody just comes in, psh, it will take you a while to, to, to recover from that. Sometimes some people, some of us are, you know, bragging and saying, oh, I'm already on top of my game. I'm already leading my market. Sooner or later, the competition is going to realize because whatever is happening out there, people are studying each other. Do you know what I mean? So the competition will be getting stronger. And if you just relax and you're like, ah, oh, no, I'll chill, you know, drink a baby water and wait for everybody else to catch up. There will be a new entrance in the market and, you know, you will just have a grand opening and grand, op and grand closing before you know it. Ray Ring says, so true, hit each day like you're eating top ramen. Mm. And Angie, a marketing mindset is a must. Do you know what I mean? So that's why every single day when I pop in, I just tell you how I help people to come to the right kind of clients. Put out the content for them, and then you can convert them easily. You know why? Because these people are already engaged. They, you've already educated them. You've inspired them, and you're providing value every single day. You no longer sell to them. It's not like you, you are just conversing with them and giving them a call to action and saying, Hey, type in Blueprint. This is, this is the part where you get to type in Blueprint. I mean... My, my sponsors actually want me to make a few sales every single day. So just, just pretend you're typing in Blueprint and then I'll send you the things just so that they can see that we, we, we're doing stuff and I'm not just talking online with people. All right. So let's, let's go back again. So, yeah, every single day you, you, you put in, you know, the right kind of clients. All right. And then you send them the right kind of content. And when you convert them. All right. All you're doing is building a community and authority and you're branding yourself as the go to person that actually has to, um, you know, fulfill this need. All right. So so Angie and Joel have typed in blueprint. You, you haven't just please. Yeah. I mean, it's it, if I don't, then maybe I'm not going to be allowed to go live anymore because my sponsors are getting tired of me not getting people typing in blueprint, etc. So just type in blueprint so that. Yeah, so that we can continue having lives tomorrow. T type in Blueprint. All right? And sometimes, I want to tell you something, guys, guys. I want to tell you, know, also lacking a killer instinct or lacking the competitive edge, yeah, and not playing to win, sometimes will also cripple your marketing mindset. I think it was Vince, Vince Lombardi. He stated that winning really isn't everything, but it is the only thing at the end of the day. All right. So the same goes for marketing. Marketing is not a hobby, guys, or it's not a must have or a good to have. It's a place to win customers and a place to win business. All right. So if you don't want to listen to me, listen to Vince Lombardi. He says that winning isn't everything. And that's the reason why we're actually here, guys. We're here to, to fulfill our own goals. We're here to, to help our families, you know, go from where they are right now to a better sort of existence. We're, we're not just sitting here in, in, in our offices or in, on our workstations, you know, playing with ourselves or playing games. We're here to win. So if you're not going to embody marketing and make it your marketing, um, you, know, you know, every single thing that you do, Guys, every, every time if you don't have a purpose or anything, somebody will come in and they will make it look like what they have is the next biggest thing. All right? There's never going to be anything new under the sun unless something radically changes. I'm not going to say that. But sometimes you just need to develop this mindset, guys. You know, I recommend that you consult other successful business owners who have used marketing to actually... Um, you know, leverage where they are, you know, and it's, you, you can also contact other marketing companies that have helped businesses to kickstart their marketing efforts. Look at what they're doing. Read as many success stories as you can. And you find out that everything that we have is within us. There's not going to be any new shiny objects that will change your, your, you know, the, the, the way you're reaching out to your customers right now. You always got to have 
a message that goes to a specific market, right? And then you use whatever channel that you can utilize. Back in the day, Coca-Cola is, is almost a hundred dollar, a hundred year old company now, but they always had the same message: open happiness. Back in that time, they were found in newspapers, on buses, whatever media they were using. Now you find them on social media. They're still using that same message to the same market. They're not rushing in for the next new and shiny object. They're just staying relevant. So if you really want to win, guys, in, in, in business, y'all got to stay relevant. So the more positive stories that you read, the more you'll think on how to apply them into your business. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and you also see how important it is to think about marketing in the right way. And, and you to think about it all the time and how it is important to actually make it a business habit. Because you meet some people and you've got two seconds to explain what you do and you, you, you freeze. You've lost an opportunity. So if you make it a regular, you know, thing, you know, to, to, to say exactly what you do in, in, in a specific time, it becomes a part of you and it's easy. So when people ask me, I'm like, oh, snap, I help coaches and consultants to package, brand, and scale their business so that they have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Uh, you know, because I, I say it all the time when I'm given a chance. So having the right marketing mindset is, is actually the perfect starting point, guys, for, you know, your, your marketing planning process and kicking your marketing into high gear as long as you know what your message is guys as long as you know who your market is and as long as you know um what media you can use at that particular time you will win at this game all right and if you're not really sure how that works just type in blueprint and i'll send you through a copy of this so that you can capture the right kind of people send them the right kind of content and convert them all right and then you can then connect them and you know serve them and ha help them or help yourself have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So this is what I'm going to say, guys. Just try just a few of these things regularly and you'll see what happens to your marketing mindset. At the end of the day, guys, listen to this. I'm throwing all these videos on YouTube. So you can also, um, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, yes, support us in whichever way we go. If you've typed in Blueprint, I'm going to be in the comments below so that I can give you the lowdown of exactly what the blueprint entails. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. You make what I do, um, you know, meaningful and enjoyable. And you're the reason why I wake up every single day because I've got people to serve. In the meantime, enjoy yourself and maintain that marketing mindset.